I guess I'll start with some opening remarks. Um, well, I'll start with, you know, Harrison Smith. Oh, <laughs> Harrison Phillips, sorry. Um, just I just heard he agreed to terms. I think that's excited for him. I think he's done a lot of great things. Um, you know, just in my time here, his leadership, his um, playmaking ability. Um, I'm excited for him. Um, and I'm, you know, excited for him, his family, and um, he, it's definitely, definitely earned and deserved. So, um, but as far as the team, very proud of the way we played on, uh, on Sunday. Just a great team victory, you know, across the board. I think it's hard to win on the road in a tough environment. Um, and I thought our guys, you know, prepared the right way. Um, I thought we had a great week of practice and really going all the way back to OTAs and mini camp and training camp and, you know, really the entire preseason. Uh, I think, you know, that really prepared our team um, and us defensively um, in the right way to go out there and perform that way. And, um, you know, my message to them yesterday was to, you know, let's continue to build on that preparation uh, week to week, day to day, um, and put ourselves in the best positions to have uh, performances like that. But I was uh, very, very proud of the group. Hey, Brian, what are some of the things that Harrison Phillips does that just don't get noticed by everybody? Uh, I mean, there's, you know, I always talk about a hub of communication, and that normally includes the safeties and the, you know, the green dots, the linebackers, uh, the nickels, Murphy's involved in that, Mattelis is involved in that. Um, and Harrison Phillips, he, he involves himself in those, in those situations. Uh, you know, you guys know this, it's an alert system, it's a kind of a check system, and sometimes it's, uh, you know, yeah, it's, a formation, and you know, I got a D lineman looking at formations out on the perimeter, and I got to tell, slow him down a little bit. But um, you know, just from a communication standpoint across the D line, you know, there's things we do. Um, I've mentioned him as our STEM coordinator um, in the past, and um, you know, he j he wants to be involved. It's important to him. Um, you know, his leadership, his his ability to. Uh, you know, kind of create relationships throughout the locker room. Um, you know, that's why he was part, partly why he was named captain, or part of the reason why he's he's a captain on this team. Um, I think he does a lot of uh, great things for us uh, that really don't get noticed, as you mentioned, um, from a team building and camaraderie standpoint. Um, and he's also a very good player. I mean, it really doesn't get more challenging, you know, if I'm speaking honestly. Um, you know, this is your reigning NFC champions. Um, and they've been uh, a very, very, you know, elite team for a number of years now. Um, it starts with, you know, Coach Shannon and uh, I think he's done a great job, uh, you know, of building that team, you know, offense, defense, special teams, uh, into a physical, um, a physical group, um, a group that plays smart, that plays physical. I keep mentioning that because that's what they are. Um, they've got skilled players everywhere. Um, you, know, you can go down the list: uh, McCaffrey, Debo, Ayuk. Um, Kittle, Trent Williams. I mean, there's just, you know, player after player after player after player. Juwan Jennings shows up. Um, you, know, they, you know, they've done an incredible job um, of acquiring players, developing players. Um, and then those guys, they, they, they do a great job of getting those, the ball in those guys' hands um, and giving them the ability to, uh, to, to, to use their talents, gifts, and abilities to run with it. I mean, I, I would say this, this is, you know, easily the best run after team in the league because of all those guys. So um, definitely a big, big challenge. Um, but really from the top all the way down, you know, they do a great job. How relevant is last year's tape as you're preparing for this I think it's relevant. I mean, all of it's relevant, you know, to a degree. Um, obviously, last night's game is the one that's fresh in our mind and, and um, took a deep dive on that this morning. Um, but, um, you know, last year is relevant. Um, I would say, you know, 
specific to McCaffrey and you know his availability um, or you know not being available last night. You know, you take a look at the you know, Mason, and I think I thought he did a great job as well. So um, you know, things are a little different, but you know, there's they've got a variety of ways to get you know certain guys the ball, and as you watch it, you know, there's it's almost a positionless group where. You know, a guy like Debo can play running back, then he's a receiver, and then McCaffrey's a receiver. You know what I mean? It's just, you know, it's pretty cool to watch. Um, challenging, you know, challenges you uh, from a um, schematically. How would we? How do we defend? Um, how do we handle the run, the pass, the screen game? I mean, there's a lot there. Uh, they do a great job. Well, you talked a lot, um, speaking of positionless players, about you know acquiring players with versatile skill sets that you can use in various different ways. And I was wondering, like, two years in, uh, where you think you're at in that process of kind of having a group of people that you can deploy as needed on a weekly basis? Yeah, I've talked about our group. I mean, uh, you know, I like the, I like, I like our guys. I, I, I like the versatility of guys like, you know, Metellus, you know, who we've mentioned, and Harrison Smith, and, you know, Harrison Phillips. And, you know, we've added guys like, you know, Ginkgo and Blake, um, JG, uh, Tillery. Um, I think all those guys have, um, you know, shown up positively and certainly showed up positively on Sunday. And really the what we want to do is build on that. Um, and as a staff, um, you know, I think our staff's done a great job of, um, you know, finding out the strength and we strengths and weaknesses of those players and then, um, you know, coming up with creative ways to deploy, you know, Ginkle in this spot, Metellus in this spot. And, you know, I know they're up there right now, um, you know, in the you know, creative laboratory right now, trying to figure out or find a different, uh, you know, way of, uh, you know, coming up with a game plan that's, you know, we can execute, but also has got some, a couple wrinkles that, 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 uh, that, that may help us. And again, you know, a lot of credit goes to those guys. You know, I tell them, hey, the, the coaches, they know the players better than, um, than anyone. You know, when you sit in a room with guys, you know, four or five guys, you know, you get to know their strengths, their weaknesses, what they can do, what they can't do, you know, how much they can handle, how much they can't handle. Uh, so, you know, I lean on, you know, DJ and Saravo and Pet um, and Hutch, you know, quite a bit, and really everybody in the room to, um, you know, collectively come up with, you know, the best plan, um, even KO. KO, KO came up with a couple of blizzes last, last week that we put in there. He probably wouldn't tell you that, but he, 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 he certainly did. Um, oh, they worked. They worked. I told you, I don't care where the good idea comes from. You know, so he basically, he, you know, he texts me. He's like, well, hey, what do you think about, you know, doing this out of that, this front? And I, you know, the next day I had, you know, there's something in the uh, coach's locker room. It's a drawn up in the coach's locker room. It's pretty funny. Um, and we ran it, so it's good. It's a KO special. When it comes to uh, Van Ginkle, do you, do you remember your first impression of him in Miami and, and just where he was at as a player then, kind of what you saw in him? Yeah, I mean, um, fast. Um, he had a kind of sneaky, slippery uh, – instinctive play style that um, we just really liked. You know, we just felt like he was, you know, he was a Juco and then he goes to Wisconsin. So he's a little bit undeveloped, underdeveloped. Um, and, but, you know, like a lot of guys, you know, he can play, he's fast, he's tough. Um, he makes plays, you know, if we can develop him and he's got the traits and intangibles to develop, kind of like some of those, like the undrafted guys we talked about, although he was drafted, it's got those same traits. He'll develop and, you know, potentially turn into, you know, what he what, what, what he's become. And a lot of that's really not a lot of it. All of it's, you know, his doing. He's earned it. Um, and it's been, you know, cool to kind of watch watch him grow the entire way um, and then be away for a couple of years and then get him back and see that there's even more growth. Um, and, you know, we, we, we got close with his family, his wife, Sam. They got two little kids. I mean, they're, they're you know, it's just watched, good to watch him grow that way as well. So uh, proud of him and excited to continue working with him. What you think of Dallas Turner's debut? I thought he played very well. I, mean, I thought a lot, of, a lot of guys played well. 
Um, but, you know, for a rookie in their first game, you know, there's certainly some jitters. I mean, I think for everybody, there's some jitters, myself included, you know, week one. Um, but uh, it, it certainly wasn't too big for him. Um, and I think he's getting better. He's getting a better feel for uh, running games, you know, the things, you know, how he can attack an offensive lineman, you know, what to do if they chip, uh, chip him or thump him, um, you know, how to set a tackle up and at least draw him a little bit if he's dropping. There's, there's certain things that I think he's, he's starting to get a better feel for. And, you know, we'll just continue to uh, hope he continues to grow and develop. Brian, with Ivan Pace, I'm just curious, what have you seen from him in year two, and then what do you want to see from him moving forward? Yeah, I mean, I, I think Ivan had a great training camp. Um, you know, you turn on the tape, and here's a guy who's who shows up in a physical, violent way, um, and that's what we're looking for. Um, he's doing a lot of good things. We'll, we'll, we'll just continue coaching him. He's certainly a... Um, you know, being talked about, you know, from a game plan standpoint this week um, with a an aggressive, violent, you know, a, a, a rushing attack that we're going to see. Um, so, you know, we're definitely talking about him, um, uh, you know, this week and how to how to deploy he along with a lot of a lot of our other guys, um, you know, with what is going to be a big challenge. Um, so, um, yeah, he's doing a lot of good things. Excited about him. How's he grown as a communicator? Just I remember him last year talking about wearing the green dot for the first yeah. time. Yeah, you know, I think he's doing a great job from that standpoint. Um, I think a lot. You know, I mentioned the hub of communication. Not everyone can have a green dot, um, but I, you know the expectation is that um, backers, safeties, nickels, outside backers—they're uh, all you know part of that hub of communication, and uh, he's certainly part of that. Um, I think it, you know, it turns into that, you know, if you don't have the green dot, you're not communicating. It's, it's, it's certainly not that because, you know, this thing doesn't go if Harrison Smith's not out there, you know, he makes the initial alert and then we all, you know, divvy out our communication after that. So, um, he's done a great job. Uh, he'll continue to grow and, uh, and develop and, you know, we'll keep coaching him. Do you ever, ever have to like call him out and out? Um, it's football. We gotta, I gotta, I gotta get calmed down sometimes, you know? Um, yes, you know, it's, I gotta calm Ivan down. I gotta calm Harrison Smith down. I gotta calm Mattelis down. I gotta calm a lot of people down. You know, that's, that's, that's part of coaching. Um, you know, so yes, to answer your question, you know, quick answer, yes. But, uh, you know, you, you'd rather say, Whoa, than sick him. You know, that's a that's a phrase I learned from Tomlin. You know, you'd much rather say whoa than sick him. Who tells you whoa? My oh. wife. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, has Harrison Phillips improved as a pass rusher in the time that you've seen him? Where Absolutely. Him yeah. I mean, really from last year to this year, there's certainly been improvement. I know it's something that um, was a point of emphasis for him in the offseason. Um, Something he worked on, you know, you know, against bags, against sleds, hand blocks in the off season, um, and then you know you, you, you saw the improvement really kind of instantly in, in training camp and one on ones against our guys, and then um, you know in the joint practices as well. So uh, I think he's certainly improved there, um, you know. And he's a guy when he kind of puts his mind to, hey, I want to get better at this. Um, that normally happens, so um, not surprised to see him. Uh, you know, put the work in and then, you know, see the fruits of that work. Brian was talking yesterday about, I think he got a warning because the whole defensive staff was in the, the end zone after the, the touchdown. Do you remember what you were thinking in that moment and just kind of what was that moment like? Yeah, you know, I, uh, yeah, he mentioned that to me that, that you guys, we had it, <laughs> uh, that was talked about. Um, look, I tell our players when you, you know, when you make a play, you should celebrate that play. It's it's not easy to make plays in this league. We work hard, um, you know, meetings, walk through practice. They got to deal with me on a daily basis. So when you make a play, go out there and celebrate. And you should say, they should celebrate each other. And, I, and you, you see that um, on the on the field. And I hope when people watch us, they see a group that you know enjoys playing together. Um, 
you know. So I get excited too for them. Um, you know, as a coach, there's nothing uh, more enjoyable than watching your guys, uh, you know, have success. That's why you're in it. That's why we do this. So, yeah, I was fired up, and I don't, and I'm not uh, ashamed to say that. And you know, hopefully, you know, we don't get penalized, and I'll, I'll make sure that doesn't happen. Brian, looking looking into your past, uh, when you prepared for Aaron Jones, uh, his his ability to the quickness with which he can pick any number of holes, mm -hmm. depending on who you know, how the line block and be able to take something. How hard was that, and unique was that when you were preparing for him? Uh, I'm glad he's on our team. I'll start by saying that. Um, yeah, he's he's got a. Uh, a unique skill set, um, a, a unique running style that, uh, and a vision that's that's makes it very hard to defend. Um, you know, we talk often about setting edges and defeating blocks, and um, he does a good job of pressing the edge and getting guys to peak and cutting off of that the one little movement by a defensive player. Um, he's been doing it a long time. He's uh, obviously. You know, very, um, very gifted, and has had a lot of success. And you know, um, that's a that's that's a testament to the way he works. You think it's instincts or vision that you know sometimes he may pick a hole that might not look like the right decision, but he, he makes it work. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, you know some of us are gifted in some ways, or have gifts, talents, and abilities in some ways that some of us don't. Um, and he's certainly gifted as far as you know running the football and catching the football and you know a lot of other areas and uh but he works at it also i think that's there's one thing it's one thing to be gifted it's another thing to and you watch him work on a day-to-day -day basis <laughs> um and he and i have you know conversations you know pretty much every couple of days about you know running the football and you know i call him a defensive player because when he's running it out there we're sitting on the bench you know, they're picking up first downs. You know, everybody's happy. You know, so um, yeah, excited that he's he's here. Brian, what's the key uh, for four man rushes getting home, or even just positively impacting downs? Good players. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, good players, and I think uh, you know, just this past week, and then when you got a scrambling guy, this it's it's. It's about being uh, still attacking, but 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 rushing and still rushing aggressively, but rushing with uh, I, I just call it a smart rush, um, and just you know I think on each each week there's a different um, place to attack. Um, and when you know we get those matchups, you want to win those matchups, or you get a opportunity to run a game. Um, you got to run the game correctly. Um, but um, just kind of winning those matchups, run, rushing smart, being aggressive. Um, but yeah, mo you know, for them, it's it's good players. What do you think of JG's versatility, being able to rush off the edge, but then also line up a little bit closer inside, attack that B gap? Yeah, he's certainly. Um, you know, we talked about it last week. Just got an array of pass rush uh, moves in an arsenal that allows us to be, uh, you know. Pretty versatile as far as you know deploying him, whether it's inside or outside. But um, I, he had some good rushes inside. He had some good rushes outside. Put a lot of pressure on the quarterback. You know, didn't come away with any you know sacks per se, but he was definitely affecting the quarterback and uh, you know creating some havoc. Um, so again, excited you know to have him, and um, you know we'll just continue you know getting him out there and. Um, uh, allowing him to uh, be disruptive. What's the uh, bigger impact, San Francisco's system on Debo, the player, or Debo on San Francisco's system? I think, in the, you know, there's a, it's the right fit and the right system. Um, you know, I, I think, uh, I think Coach Shanahan does a great job of, of putting those guys in positions to make plays. Using their skill sets to um, to be explosive, to create explosive plays, to run the ball this, the the way they want to run it, to be physical, to be violent, 
um, you know, to get the Kittles, you know, the ball, the Ayuks, the the Jennings, um, to get him the ball in space. And I think he does a great job. So you have to get a combination of the two. Obviously, Debo's very, very talented. Um, uh, but it's 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 like a you know a, a perfect fusion of talent and schematics. Okay, great thing. Thanks, guys.